on the table, Arcado is back, Ultimate Arcade Warriors. Hey everyone, Dan here at Squirrel Stampede. We had earlier checked out a squeak peek of Arcado, and now we're looking at a full <laughs> peek of a giant Ultimate Arcade Battle Arena, plus versus packs, several versus packs of Arcado Warriors to look at, and a few mystery packs too to unbox. These have been such a delight to fight. We've got many to go, so let's start getting through these and have an ultimate Arcado bracket at the end. Squirrel Stampede! Please squeak! Squamant! And a squirrel eye. Let's begin with Arcado Ultimate Arcade Warriors Ultimate Battle Arena! This battle pack includes the exclusive legendary Turbo Chucks Lee. And over on this side, a robotic exclusive legendary screenshot. Also inside, we've got training bags to punch and mini battling action figures. Well, duh, why does it say that twice? Over on the back of the box, the ultimate display of fighting. Impressive arcade machine backdrop, sound effects, and everything you need for a Kato fighting. Also, wow, there's your Series 1 lineup of characters to collect. There's a little bit of everyone in here. This box looks challenging, super hard to open. Where would we even start? I mean, it's got everything. I think I'll just give it a clip right here. Oh, there we go. Out of the box with the Ultimate Battle Arena. A little more low profile once you get out of the box, but still quite grand in the scheme of battling things. So if you set up chores, we're gonna slide out the frame. So I guess this kind of extends from the base. Oh, look at that, there's a little more fighting room there. We've already inserted our graphic in the back. Right now it is the Battle Arena, but there is also a simple dojo upside down right now. Also spots to place other warriors. Let's turn power on. All right, so some groovy Akedo music is going. It's got the squirrels dancing. Very energetic here going on Akedo on the table and it just keeps going. It keeps going and the music goes and keeps going. Okay. Okay, let's wrap this up. Can we wrap this up? Wrap up the music, please. Wrap it up. Okay, okay, here we go. We've also got a training bag if you wish to hang this attachment here on the back wall up top. A little bit tight. You can even slide this bag in and out for one of your fighters to practice with. I think I'll just call that good for now. I want to get right to the fight. No, no, no more dancing. Stop, stop dancing, squirrels. Come on, we gotta get this going. Come on, stop. Checking out our exclusive ultra rare Kato fighters with the golden coined base. Turbo Chucks Lee in yellow. We'll come back to Chucks Lee a little later in just a basic form. And a legendary screenshot as well. Look at this guy's skull on his uh, monitor face. Also with the rare ultra rare coin base on him. So two very nice figures to collect with this special pack. Let's just do a basic battle using the basic game rules for this go. Set our health bars to 10. Okay, so let's go for our first fight. Ready, set, Akedo! These guys are tough right now. They are not letting up. Oh, there we go. We've got our first split strike. Fresh out of the package. They're a little tight. And make sure you remove... Oh, oh no. Legendary screenshot. Totally cheated. I thought I had removed everything. And look at that. He still has a little rubber band on him holding him together. I don't know what say the judges on this one. Failure to remove rubber band user error. Therefore, screenshot shall forfeit his points. I disagree. Chuck Slee should have noticed the rubber band still on him and already agreed to the fight. Screenshot shall keep his points while Chuck Slee shall lose his points. You treacherous beaver. That's not fair. 
Okay, okay, guys, let's just call it an even split strike. We'll both take off points for each character. Not fair! Very well, I agree to the terms. Okay, so somewhere on here we've got to look for their damage and health. I believe damage is the little shocky one, so four and five. So we do four damage on screenshot. One, two, three, four, and five damage on Chuck Slee. One, two, three, four, five-ish. Okay, well, let's go to our second round here, reset our players. This one should be an even playing field at this time. I'm watching you, buddy. All right, ready, set, Akato. Oh, and look at that. Screenshot delivers another blow to Chuck's Lee. And with Screenshot's hit points, another five. Chuck's Lee is dead. Oh, oh no, you didn't! <laughs> ow, ow, ow! Stop it, Landry! Ow! Oh, please, stop it! Oh, I don't want to do this! Ow! <laughs> ah, just stop, okay? Screenshot was just the winner this time, all right? So as you can see, the Ultimate Battle Arena provides lots of fun, lots of controlled fun with sound effects and some extra moves. Extra moves like, in battle mode, two player combo, four attacks in 1.5 seconds as measured, power up, pull back on joystick, hold and release. Success or failure depends on your timing, jinx, both players trigger joystick at the same time, exhaustion, flurry of attacks, Surrender, one of two players does not trigger a move in 30 seconds, the match is over and Battle Arena goes back to training mode. So there's actually a fairly complex system of play going on with the mechanics inside. I'll let you figure that out as you pick up a set. For now, I'm just enjoying the sounds and the battle features. Chucks Lee. I think Chucks Lee is going to need some training time with the bag. That's it. I'm getting out. Ow! 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 Stop it, Lenny! Ow! Again with the Akedo dancing? Oh, squirrels, come on. Come on. You gotta get this done. Squirrels, please! Stop dancing! Stop! Come on! <laughs> Okay, so we spent a little bit of time with the Ultimate Battle Arena. Now we can finally start releasing Ultimate Arcade Warriors all over the place with these awesome themed double packs. These are probably your best option in collecting characters you want to find. Like this pack here has your common Chucks Lee and this terrifying epic crack-up clown. Who invited the clowns? Here we have Tail Whip, a shark character with an epic wrath. And so each one of these packs come with an epic character, a silver-based epic character. So if you look through the character list, you've got classic, you've got epic, which are in many of these packs here. And then we'll try to hunt for some ultra rare in the mystery packs. And then legendary, and then what we saw with exclusive. But I fear that may be pretty tricky to do. So in this pack, we've got Axel, a nice looking Viking barbarian dude with Epic Miss Slither, a Medusa-like warrior. And then over on this pack, we've got Slam Granderson. That was one I was looking forward to finding. And an epic Shreddy Bear. Oh, what happened to that Care Bear? Oh no. So let's get all these out and see them up closer.
there out of the packs. A real quick way to collect many a character. I think these double packs run approximately $12 to $15. And they are nice as you can start battling right off the bat. Am I right about that, Slam Granderson, right? They do a good job of mixing some really colorful characters into these packs. I should also note that there are six versus packs out there to collect. So there's also a Wild Tide versus a Big Stinky pack, which I might just have to look for now, just looking at Big Stinky. Burnout would be great. That's like an Evil Knievel dude with Thunderwind. So two more double packs versus packs out there to look for for me. They seem to be getting more readily available here in the fall. It took a couple weeks, but more and more I'm seeing them on shelf. Target stores is my favorite location for picking these up. Looking at these guys a little closer, Shreddy Bear, a Care Bear possible look-alike with a big, big stomach on it. Is that a chainsaw for a weapon? Very terrifying. Shreddy has health at 5 and damage at 3. Then there's this clown, Crack Up. I like how Crack Up has the chicken weapon, the rubber chicken, always very lethal in battle. Must be weighted down with some metal inside. Five health points with this one with four damage. Look at that goofy tie. Oh, I love clowns. They're just so freaky, right? Then this guy, Tail Whip. And look at that. He uses a tail as a whip. I did not expect that for some reason. Tail Whip's pretty strong with six health, but only a two. Strike, that's interesting. I would have thought this guy would have a stronger strike. And I'm still confused. Is Tail Whip more of a T-Rex or a shark? I'm still trying to figure that out. With the tail, it feels more like a T-Rex now, but he has the mouth of a shark. Then one of my favorites, Slam Granderson. I love this guy so much. I love the sportiness. I love the baseball bat of this guy. I think Beaver Squirrel also appreciates the baseball bat of this guy. Health point at five. I would have put the health points a little higher. Damage points at four. So yeah, this baseball bat will really give you a clocking. One of my favorites. He's just a really fun guy. White Wraith over here. There's Epic White Wraith. Kind of a uh, Storm Shadow, G.I. Joe, Ninja-esque character with a scythe of quakes on him. Looks like a real tough fighter to get through. What do we have? Health points, five and five on damage. This guy's tough. This guy's a real tough fighter. Oh, here's our basic Chuxley. Chuxley here in basic, a four in damage and a four in health. So one step lower in health than the uh, ultra rare Chucks back here. But I kind of like just basic Chucks. It's like you always got to have that basic fighter, that basic Bruce Lee character to be in these type of collections. It's perfect. Then over here we have the terrifying, ooh, what is her going to do? Miss Slither, ooh, Medusa-like. Miss Slither sporting a nice little fighting jacket, though. She has six health points and three damage, using a cobra as a uh, attack weapon. So that that's pretty impressive on her, wiggling about on her display stand. And one more here from the double packs today. It would be Axel. Axel also interesting to look for. I guess you would say Viking-like, kind of also Gladiator-esque. We had pulled Aximus, if you recall, in our Squeak Peak. So these two kind of feel very similar in how they are acting. Uh, Axel with a 6 health and a only a 2 strike. That axe, really? Only 2? That seems like it would be a little more powerful. So each one kind of has their uh, strengths and weaknesses. And that might help you if you're playing official rule battle where it's 3 versus 3 and you build your team accordingly. All right, before we really throw down here, I have three more boxes of uh, Mystery Warriors. Who is inside this pack? At this point, unfortunately, I'll probably see lots of repeats. I've pretty much collected many of the classic now by building on the Versus packs, but there's a couple in there. Uh, the epics are mostly from the Versus packs, but there is a couple in there. So hopefully in these single packs, that's where you're going to be hunting for these ultra rare fighters and maybe even legendary fighters. If you recall in the Squeak Peak, we did pull an ultra rare Twin Fang. So these have the golden bases, which are really quite special to look for. So you know, if you don't want to go the Versus pack way and test your luck a little bit with these packs, you might get an ultra rare. Let's open this one up, see what we got. Ooh, 
Ooh. I don't believe we have this character. This is a classic character, so should be pretty easy to find. This is the first character in the collector's guide, actually, so that's kind of fun. And kind of looks like a great opponent for White Wraith back there. Kind of like a Snake Eyes versus Storm Shadow. This is Night Blade with a 4 health and a 4 strike. A little bit of Mortal Kombat look, too, on those dragons on his tunic vest thing. So not a bad find for a basic figure. I'm unsure if there's workable codes on the back here. There are some imprints, things here, numbers, but so far, usually with Moose, it's pretty random. If you guys know a code uh, that I just am not seeing today, let me know in the comments. Oh, I think we've got another White Wraith today. So that would have been a fun find. It is an epic character, so kind of a little rarer. And I've got one more pack here, so any luck with this pack, we will find out in just a few seconds. Kind of funny to just pull Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow in these packs. At least that's what I like to call them. Oh, I see something different. So this is Hyperlock, kind of the futuristic fighter, maybe. Almost Transformer-esque with that helmet. Nice blue coloring. I always like blue. A five health pointed fighter with a three hit on that futuristic axe of his. So at least they got some of the mechanics right. His future axe is going to be stronger than old school axe over here. Pretty good though, finds. Okay, let's build an ultimate arcade warrior bracket here. The battle to win them all. So let's get everybody practiced and ready to go. Okay, everybody, welcome to Squirrel Stampede's Akedo Ultimate Arcade Warrior Sudden Death Tournament. Okay, for time's sakes, again, this is Sudden Death. We are not going to go with basic rules or official rules. Both games are a lot of fun, but this is Sudden Death. Whoever wins goes on to the next round. Whoever loses has to go back to practicing camp. So we'll just set our scores down to zero. Don't even worry about health points. Everyone is set to go. This is Ancient Axel versus Modern Hyperlock. Who will win our first bracket battle? Ready, set, Akedo. Oh my goodness, I don't think he even got hit. Hyperlock took out Axel with the air that his axe swings. Hyperlock will advance to the next round. Now for a round I'm most interested in, Night Blade, or I will call him Snake Eyes, versus White Wraith, Storm Shadow, and Akaido. Oh, look at that. Night Blade has come victorious over Storm Shadow, White Wraith, Sorry, White Wraith, you get denied the next round. And the next battle, my favorite, Slam Granderson versus Shreddy Bear. I expect you, Slam, to perform at your best. Ready, set, Akedo! Oh, yes! Woohoo! Slam Granderson has taken Freddy Bear out. Shreddy Bear, keep wanting to say Freddy Bear. Excellent, my favorite can continue on in tournament play. Next up, it's Chuck Slee versus Crack Up. Oh, the clown is here. Chuck Slee, you're one of the faces of Akedo. I hope you can pull this off. Ready, set, fight. Oh, Chuck Slee goes down, he is split striked in half by the clown. Did not see that coming. What a round. We are now fighting for a spot for the championship. Slam Granderson has returned versus the future of Hyperlock. Bat versus Metal Axe. Ready, set, Akedo. Oh, we'll have to go to the replay on that one. That 
had by a fraction of a second. Slam Granderson takes out Hyperlock. Slam Granderson can call this a win. Hyperlock back to training camp. And here we are for the second divisional fight for the championship round. Nightblade versus the Clown Crackup. Ready, set, Hakado. This is a great fight. It's going long. Crackup with the rubber chicken swipes everywhere. Nightblade goes down. Oh! So Crackup wins the battle to go on to the championship. Nightblade back to training camp. All right, everybody, welcome to the championship round. Bringing it back our bracket winners, we've got the crazy clown with the rubber chicken, Crackup. And from the other side of the bracket, Dan's favorite, Slam Granderson number 11 from the Bashers. This will be an epic toss up. Oh, these two are ready to go in the intimidation phase. I don't know who to be more scared of, the clown or the guy with the big bat. All right, here it is, the championship match, making sure heads are locked in tight, shoulders are square. We don't want to have any disputed sudden knockouts. Here we go, three, two, one, for the championship. This battle is going long, the hits are strong. Oh, so many epic hits. Oh, no! Crackup has won! Crackup with the hit! Slam Granderson is down! My favorite out! And it's Crackup with the sudden death win! What a terrifying battle! So impressive these are! I will totally give Crackup the win! And I will totally give a congratulations to all fighters in today's match. Everyone truly fought their heart out, except for maybe you, Chuck Lee. White Wraith, you're a little disappointing. Well done, everyone who fought and battled. I tell you, these guys are absolutely a treasure to fight. And there we go with the Kato Ultimate Warriors Arcade. What a refreshing line of little mini figures that fight, each with abilities and characteristics. They're just awesome to collect. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel eye, and a squamet. Let us know your favorite Akedo warrior. I think mine has to be Slam Granderson. Thank you for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Oh no. Here they go again. Oh, okay. The Akedo theme is pretty good. I'll give it that. Have fun, squirrels.